welcome to my channel my name is Odin, and today i'm talking to you about autumn outerwear essentials i say essentials because um the weather is transitioning you don't have to have these items but they make life a lot easier and i'm going to talk to you about some of the ones that i have i think i have enough i have all that i need in terms of being ready for autumn because i've been intentionally working on building a nude beige brown light colored wardrobe it makes it so easy because autumn is all about the browns the oranges the greens basically the colors of nature i want to talk to you about some of the coats that i have here and why they work well for autumn in case you're looking for inspiration to know what to buy to know how to style or just 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 to to watch and enjoy that's also okay <laughs> anyway let's jump straight into it I'm gonna have timestamps below so that uh, yeah you can skip to your favorite jacket that you're interested in and I'm gonna start with the biggest coats thickest coats to the smallest first coat is a camo coat and it is actually from Mimi London and this coat I got uh, on discount 80% discount so keep an eye out on Mimi London's website they do great quality I've reviewed them twice on this channel check them out linked below it is beautiful beautiful these videos are not sponsored and even if they were i'll give you my honest opinion i love this coat it's so soft back to why it is essential for autumn number one the color the color makes it great for autumn the thickness makes it great for autumn for those cold days or for those cold nights because it's great for because of the color panel detail you can formalize it and you can close button it up and again further formalizing it this is also a look where they cinch in the waist and they give you that hourglass figure and it works it works really well for me i think it works better than the granddad or boyfriend style jacket which they did have as an option on their website at the time when i got this um but this one is great because i've never had a coat so exaggeratedly cinched in so that's a lovely addition to my wardrobe and i love the pockets i like the inside pocket detail too again just autumn is about color and it's about texture as well this is not so much textured because it's just a common coat it's like fine really short hairs but it's soft it's really soft and then the slit at the open slit at the back allows you to not get too hot to not get too tight as you know winter you need something that is wrapping you up and no holes no lines no slits kind of thing this is not that this is relaxed but can be casual can be smart and it's giving you color it's giving you structure it's giving you body and it's giving you pockets for practicality number two a trench coat that i'm in love with and i'll tell you why i'm really in love with it um number one is because i got it second hand on facebook market and number two when it came it came in immaculate condition number three it came with the hanger like this this got me excited that is basically a burberry trench coat which has a wool lining which is detachable and that is so cool because autumn is all about coats that are not too heavy because we're not there yet it's not yet that cold but it's like ambiguous right you can't tell so you need something so if it's like that like that you can remove the wool um insert or lining so that it becomes lighter and not heavy and not so hot uh, but if it's cold it becomes a legitimate coat and you are fully covered and you are padded in there with your wool and everything that you need and it's large and it's comforting this coat honestly it works on anything i could be wearing leggings i could be wearing sportswear i could be wearing trainers heels whatever the full spectrum it works and it just does its thing it's just there literally burberry did a great a great job in designing these trench coats i know they were initially for the public service uh unit uh, in the UK I believe they really give you strong woman vibes anyone who wears this looks great my boyfriend can fit this jacket by the way which means that it is super large it is big it is big on me but I like that look I think also autumn is about relaxed looks it is about comfort wear because you're just looking for ease and comfort and convenience because you're transitioning um, and that's why jumpers are such a thing a big thing uh, that's why turtlenecks and that's why 
just knitwear is a big thing because it's, a, it's you can transition with it and you can layer and you can reduce, increase what you wear with it. Um, trench coats are kind of in that um, in that zone in the sense that you can add them to anything and they will work casual, smart, and they're light and they can be whatever you need them to be. Like this one, it has a detachable insert, so it works. It works really well for whatever weather. And the color, notice also it's a um, beige brown color, similar to the first coat was brown. Those colors are great colors of nature. Again, I think that's why they're much loved for autumn. There's a lot of them available to buy secondhand online. So you just have to be careful, know your research. Do your research, I mean. I did a video when I unboxed this uh, coat when I got it from Facebook and I explained some of the things I was looking out for when I was buying a secondhand Burberry trench coat because there are some fakes out there and I can only pray to God that mine is not fake. I did do my research and I did look for certain things and I feel like they were in this coat, on this coat. So I think it is authentic. I believe it's authentic. The next thing on my list is the cardigan. It is a long cardigan. They scream Christmas, they scream autumn to me anyway. Long cardigans and then this one is Adidas. You know how I feel about Adidas and their keenness towards sustainability, like OGs in terms of sustainability. Not like the new people that are trying to get on it. Mm -mm. These are like OGs. Um, so Adidas is really cool when they kind of like move out of the sportswear side of things and they start to give you dresses and they start to give you right textured cardigans with their three stripes still and it somehow looks fine it doesn't look so sporty it still looks comforting and like loungewear and i love this particular cardigan for the color for the texture and for the length so those are things that are quite cool so you know when i mentioned earlier about autumn being all about textures this is about it as well because textures bring a certain level of comfort or um, just um, impression of transition uh, in my view. So this texture is really good because it's soft, it is really hugging, it resembles somewhat of a blanket. Again, transitioning weather, cold, just ambiguous. This is great and it works on anything because of the length the only thing i would recommend is when you're wearing it make sure you're wearing it with one color as well uh, like i did i wore a brown inside and then that was the only other color on there so i was wearing two colors in total that's very important because as a petite you don't want to wear too many colors because you are creating a lot of lines and you don't want that and this has lines going all the way down and what i was wearing as well is is the same color from top to bottom is a block color so it helps with creating orderliness lines just straight and looking put together basically one of the tips given are to wear the same colors or the same color family because it just looks that much more polished and effortless and that's why this works really well that's why autumn is great for such colors and that's why autumn is great for such lengths because they bring about comfort convenience and ease the last thing on my list is a gillette now a gillette is one of those things that you either love it or hate it i personally was not into them because um i felt like they mummified me oh, well not mummified as in like egyptian mummy but as in like made me look like a mother of children i'll explain what can go wrong and why in my view i think because it has a lot of lines and by lines i mean the collar the zip the pockets um and the way this one is put together it's pieced together panels of material piece together it's the design it's fine uh the collar has got a line going on there's lines here there's lines there there's lines at the back and when you have that many lines it somewhat shortens you because you're cutting and then you're introducing another color you're creating the illusion that something else is stopping here and starting here and because if you're if you're a petite girl your frame if you're shortening any part of your frame you are adding to reducing how put together you look basically and so a tip for me again would be whatever i wear inside let it be one color or similar the same color family and then i put that on top because then there isn't a competition for attention and that that kind of interrupts 
anything that you're trying to put together so if I'm wearing a set inside or if I'm wearing something a dress that's one color I put that on top it just looks chic it looks effortless um, some people put belts on them um, again you're putting you're adding more lines so unless you are really you're really aware of what you're doing by adding a belt to a jelly you're putting in more lines in fact you're cutting across um, and depending on the belt depending on the style you're going for it may work it may not work but basically you need to pay attention to lines however I say all of that to say gillettes are still cool they're still cool because they're part of transitioning because it's not yet that cold so you can kind of wear something like that on top of a knitwear thin knitwear to just give you that extra boost of warmth but it's not too overpowering because it's not yet that cold you know so they're great for this transitioning weather and that's why they've made it into my top four autumn outerwear uh, pieces so I really hope that's been helpful let me know what you think what do you have what are you looking for why and is there anything else that you'd like to see me talk about uh, on this channel it's particularly for the seasons that are coming and changing thank you so much for watching and until next time mwah.